Hey there, this is Tracking25 and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to build a micro sheep farm. And this micro sheep farm just means that there is one sheep and you'll get a little bit of wool from it. Now there's a couple ways of building this farm just in case you don't want to use the redstone, but for right now, I'll show you how to build the redstone one and at the end, I'll show you all the other ones just in case you don't want to build with the redstone. How this farm works, it is very simple. Right under the sheep there, you'll notice that there's a block of grass right over there. And then when the sheep happens to eat the grass, the observer will detect it and it'll send a signal all the way around, pushing pistons about, just to make sure that another piece of grass ends up in that same spot. So the sheep always has a bit of grass to eat. Now, this can actually work without the redstone. You can just put that block of grass right there, and then the sheep will just eat it. And then once more grass forms up, We'll eat more grass, but just in case you want this redstone mechanism right over here, I'll show you how to build this tutorial right now. The first thing we're going to start off with is the collection area. So if you want to build this at ground level, what you have to do is just punch out two blocks going downward like that, place a chest down, and then punch out the blocks behind it just like that. So there's two rows over here. Then you want to place a hopper going to that chest, another hopper going to this hopper right over here, then a rail down on this hopper there, and then you want to put a minecart with a hopper right there, and then just to make sure that this minecart and hopper doesn't move, you'll put a piece of glass right there or any other block like that. Now, above this minecart with the hopper, this is where the block with the sheep is going to go. So you want to get out a grass block right over here, and then place that on top of the minecart and the hopper, and then break any extra blocks over there, and this is step one for your sheep farm. Now we're going to be placing the observer block and the sticky pistons and regular pistons. So for the observer block, what you want to do is place it right next to this grass block over there, making sure that the redstone is facing out this way for the signal, and then in front of that you want to place a grass block. Now I'll be building a grass blocks for the whole entire thing, just because it makes the grass spread easier and the sheep will always have grass to eat over here. So right next to the observer block you want to place a regular piston over here. And then just in line with that there, you want to place the sticky piston facing this way, another regular piston right over here, and the last regular piston, you want to face it in line with this block over there, just one block of gap in between there, and then this is your whole setup done. And the last thing you can do is just place another grass block over here, and this is the grass block that's going to keep switching around for the sheep to eat. Now to wire up the pistons, what you want to do is come next to the observer block over here and then break out these four blocks under it there and then over here break this block as well and then this block under this piston over here. And to power up this piston there, you want to place a piece of redstone down over there with a repeater facing this way at the normal setting and then a piece of redstone here and now this piston is going to be powered. Now you just want to make sure that this block is broken just because it will mess up your system if you don't break that block under the sticky piston over here. And wiring up the rest of the pistons, it is very simple over there. Next to this piston over here, you just want to place a block there, then a block on top of it like that, break the block under it, and then place a whole bunch of blocks going around just like this, making sure that these blocks are going on top of this piston over here, another block down over there next to that piston, and that's about it. Now the rest of them just have to be filled up with redstone. So a redstone on this block where the observer is facing into, all the way to get over here, down over there, then over here what you want to do is place another repeater at the normal tick setting. Now if I get out a hoe just to demonstrate, you'll see that if something happens to that block over there, then the blocks are going to switch around. So say for instance the sheep eats at this block here, the blocks switch around so we'll always have a grass block so the sheep can eat, so you can shear the sheep and get wool for your collection. Now the last thing to do is just add a whole bunch of blocks so the sheep can escape and then helps the grass grow back easier. So over here next to the block the sheep will stand on, you want to place a grass block there, grass block there and another one over here so the sheep can escape and then a couple glass blocks just to make sure that the sheep cannot jump out. Then I like filling up the rest of it with glass blocks over here just to make sure that I can see the sheep and then I can cheer the sheep easily. Now over here I like placing iron trap door and then this is all the system done. Now you just have to place a sheep in and out over there and a the sheep will continue to eat from this grass block over there and then when you shear it the wool will end up in this chest just right there but anyways that is going to be it for the sheep farm right over here i know it's a bit over complicated for a sheep farm but that's the redstone that i kind of like doing and if you just want to do it a normal sheep farm all i do is just have these three blocks right there with that grass block over there and with the collecting system down over there and you'll get one without the piston pushing but anyways that's going to do it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it you can let me know by leaving a like down below but this has been tracking 25 and i'll see you guys in the next video.